Yo, 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 what's up, social buddy, I'm Odamuto, we're back with another video, alright, look, I'm, if you notice any changes, you know, I got a recliner now, so, you know what I'm saying, I'm back here with it, you know what I'm saying, I'm back here with it, you know what I'm saying, I had to move my, my figurines behind me, so, if you missed the figurines, I'm sorry, they're somewhere else in this room, anyway, today we're watching Unrelent Gaming, <laughs> and uh, we watched Beyond Dragon Ball Super Angel Goku destroys Platinum Cooler. The final battle on Earth begins. So, so Cooler's cooked this episode, and uh, this is a long one. It's about forty minutes, almost forty minutes. So, uh, get your snacks, you know what I'm saying, your drink, and you know what I'm saying. And let's let's watch it together. Let's get to it. Why is closed caption on? There we go. As our story now continues following the initial battle involving both Platinum Cooler and Angel Goku, as with Angel Goku now shown having to slowly approach Cooler was when Cooler had then began to power up by then responding, You think I'm afraid of you, oh, Saiyan? Shit. I don't care what you claim this power of yours is or how far you and Vegeta have gotten in obtaining such strength. Neither of you are unbeatable because you have both been beaten before. Uh, and that's all that I need to know. No. So no matter how strong you've become, remember this. You Saiyans were never meant to fight forever. You will tire out and that's when I'll crush you, Goku. Your optimism is your greatest weakness. So take this moment to soak this all in while you can because this is going to be the last time that you will ever see me or this planet ever again. With Goku then responding, there's no point in wasting your breath cooler i've encountered countless enemies like you with each believing that they were the epitome of absolute power and yet here i stand unbroken by their efforts you should have been smart enough to open your eyes to the truth when you were your cook buddy angel goku then went on to continue you believe that you can extinguish stars and shroud worlds in darkness but as long as there are those like myself and vegeta who oppose you uh, happy labor you day too happy labor day away with any world or or any life I think I form, so as long as we are around to stop you and you can't stand knowing that now can you because you know you've lost to which Cook. upon cooler now being shown dashing towards Goku was when cooler then went on to shout I'll lose when I'm dead Saiyan you and Vegeta have lived long enough and so now it's time that one of you is hereby destroyed oh, by shit. any means whatever it takes is what I will do in which upon the moment of contact as Goku is now shown effortlessly blocking Cooler's strike was when Beerus went on to chime Ooh. in. There's no way that this Cooler is going to get very far against this Saiyan unless something drastic were to happen, but tell me something Whis. Does this angel form that Goku is using come with any sort of a price? What's the catch here with the power that Goku is wielding? With Whis then responding, well the main reason on why Goku has to drop down into a cooldown period is simply because his mortal body is not designed to contain and wield such a level of divine energy without direct training by the Grand Priest. And I don't see any situation throughout this battle. Uh, Goku training with the Grand Priest would be crazy. Goku here, but there is one small issue here, Whis continues, and that's if Goku drops back down and attempts to re-enter into using this level of power again, then it can destroy him. Goku is fairly new to using such a form, and so just as it was with how we helped the Master Ultra Instinct, such must be the case here if he wishes to fully use this transformation without having to drop back down a level in order for him to recover. In which, surprisingly enough, the moment Platinum Cooler was from that point then shown having to finally latch on to Goku's neck was when Cooler then went on to shout, Oh yes, there- Quick question, quick question. Can he not go through this angel form in this regular Ultra Instinct form? Because he's using his, um... His, uh... He's Angel Goku in his, um... This fucking, uh... What this shit called? Super Shan... For few, I don't know, primal form. My fault. His primal form. So can you use it in his regular Ultra Instinct? Here we go. Now I've got you right where I want you, Monkey. Feel like he'd be just as strong. What did I say? Just as strong. Answer just... me, Saiyan. 
Finn, did I not warn you that this was going to happen? You're finished with Yoshida you responding. Wait, what? Nah, Are you kidding Goku me? Too confident. What just uh -huh. happened? There's no way that you're going to tell me that he was able to just do that to the Saiyan mortal with Takira then responding. That's because he didn't. It was done intentionally, so the Saiyan allowed for it to happen. As to why, well, watch closely. He's going to prove his point and set the example. As Cooler then went on to aim his finger at Goku's skull by then responding, Remember this moment, Saiyan. The difference between us is simple. I am evolution perfected, and you, you're just a dead man. Oh. Okay, any last words before you die, Saiyan? With Goku uttering, You don't scare me. Go for it. To which, as Cooler was then shown having to do, it was only during the moment of Cooler now shown having to death beam Goku directly in the skull was when Beerus then went on to shout, What the heck is that idiot doing? Why is he allowing for this to happen? What example is Goku supposed to be setting here? With Whis responding, Well, as I expected he would. Well, Lord Beerus, I want you to look closely through the smoke. There you will find the answers as to why. In which seconds later, as the smoke faded with Goku now being shown completely unfazed, was when Goku then went on to respond, I tried telling you, you could fire those beams for an eternity and it won't come close in changing the outcome of our battle. And I've ascended beyond such trivial tactics and you could never win. And I pity you, Cooler, and it's sad to see the path that you've chosen to walk down because it won't be a long one, Goku says. But, but that just can't be. You barely a scratch. Oh. But how? How did you withstand that? Cooler then went on to question. My death beam was designed for instant obliteration upon contact. So how is it that you survived with such ease? Do you honestly believe that after everything I faced throughout my life, Goku went on to then respond, and after everything I've been through, that a stray energy blast to the head was going to be what ends my life, Goku questions. Are you starting to get it now, or do you want to try again so that way I can further prove my point once again, Goku? says your attempts to destroy me only goes as far as to reveal how weak you truly are cooler true power isn't forged by revenge it isn't forged through the need to take the lives of the innocent either but it's about the journey that you had to go through in order to become the best that you can possibly be and that is why you are not yes now i see beerus went on to chime back in goku's already starting to wear cooler down from within by creating doubt and Further amplifying Cooler's oh, he's, oh, yeah. that oh, he mentally fucking him. To cooler in making he's mentally fucking him. Battle. Let go of me, you barbarian! I'm not spying into your monkey antics. I'll continue to try and destroy monkey you antics. until you drop dead before me and finally perish. Saying now, let. Go! Then go ahead. What's stopping you, Angel Goku? Then went on to question. How could you expect to try and live up to what you say when you can't even break free of my hold to do anything? As Akuma then went on to respond, the Saiyans aim to carry on by continuing to wage psychological warfare. He need to do the uh, when uh, when more try hit him in the try hit Goku in the chest when he's in ultra instinct form, and then they get hand broke. He's frustrated, and the early Angel 13. An oncoming victory yeah. always starts with frustration That'd be a fire. That'd be and be fire. ends in defeat with Yoshido chiming in well I will say that watching the Saiyan degrade this cooler like this really makes me want to fight the mortal myself after this and well of course without having to be tagged out this time of course so that way I can find out on just how good this mortal really is in which finally the moment cooler was now shown having to break free from Goku's grip was when cooler then went that on to shout this nigga cool I mean Goku me, damn Goku, you think you're indestructible do you you think that this monkey body of yours can take any much more of that well let's just continue to try this again so that i may finally put you to rest mock me will you you wish you were invincible but you're just a saiyan goku a withering mindless animal who should have been extinct a very long time ago i am lord in the cool, gonna try me living warrior this wild. Now he wild. universe you dirty Monkey, try me dirty. Attack. 
to which seconds later within oh, no, that you, moment, no, he as Cooler was shown having to mimic TN's tri-beam, was a TN's move was crazy. Still, was when Cooler's tri-beam had now gone as far as to make contact by smashing into Goku, look clean and purple, as though. went on to chime back in, and it's as I expected would happen. Goku's transformation isn't just the mere evolutionary upgrade to anything he was ever shown wielding before, but instead, it's a transcendence into a state of being that dwarfs any conventional attack no matter the power output, Whis continues. Goku's angelic essence and the angel divinity coursing through him operates like an impenetrable shield even in the face of great danger. Now, Cooler may harness incredible power the likes of which are truly impressive for a mortal to be shown having, but, well, Goku's angel form is powered by the very laws of the multiverse itself. It would be like trying to shatter a mountain with a mere gust of wind, Whis continues. And no matter what Cooler tries to do, as long as Goku continues to remain the way he is, he cannot be broken no matter what. As Cooler then went on to continue firing upon shouting, You aren't going to make a fool of me, Goku! You will never best me, you filthy monkey! Oh. But even then, to no avail, because despite with Cooler being shown firing multiple tri-beams at Goku, with Goku being shown walking right through, was when Beerus went on to chime back in, Well, just look at him move, Whis. I've never seen Goku so... so unyielding in a battle. There's a fierce determination in his eyes and the fire that I've never seen come from him before. And it's not just his power, but his spirit as well. Yes, I fought Goku to know, sparred with him, and so this... Well, this isn't the same Saiyan that I remember. He definitely ain't Beerus. In more ways than one, and it's for the better, with Whis responding, Well, and as it should be, my that, lord, that nigga. has come a very long way. He's him. So, it is deserving, as Cooler then went on to shout, No, no, you monkey solar flare! But this once again, weak. even with Goku being shown proceeding to walk forward, What is this nigga, Goku? God damn. Goku whatsoever, as Akuma from that point then went on to chime back in, oh, I cannot stand that blinding technique, especially not after seeing this Saiyan use it against us. But as expected, no effect. To which, as Cooler was now shown having to use the after image, was when Cooler then went on to shout out clones. Not that nigga thinking, and they got Naruto DNA in them. That shit crazy. Saiyan. To which upon Cooler's after image clones now being shown having to circle around Goku was when Cooler then went on to continue. So you think you're some kind of an angel now, do you? Well, that's just great, Goku. And do you want to know why? Because with the serum I've taken, I was also able to obtain the copy abilities of that pesky android known as OG73. That's crazy. So in shocking fashion, as soon as Cooler was shown grabbing onto the back of Goku's neck, I get his DNA here, Android. Like power was when Cooler then went on to continue, which only now means that whatever source of power you have will now also be passed down onto Cat. me, fool. Did you really think that I was going to go down so easily, slave? Think again. And if you thought that I was dangerous before, then just you wait until I start using your own angelic powers against you, Goku. You're delusional if you believe that you can wield this power or simply by copying it, Goku then went on to turn his head by responding. It takes more than you can possibly fathom, so try as you might, but you'll never truly grasp the essence of this power as it is earned and not stolen. Oh, what an shit. idiot. Are you kidding me? Beerus then went on to question by face palming. Again with this copying gimmick, why would Goku just stand there and allow for Cooler to just make a move like that on him? With Whis responding, well, actually, I think Goku was anticipating for this to happen, and wanted to make Cooler think that he was in control, when in fact he's actually not. With Beerus responding, How, Whis? He grabbed him! It's over! Well, not quite, because there, I want you to try and take a closer look, Whis responds. By giving Cooler a taste of angelic power, Goku knew that he would be leading him into a trap in allowing for Cooler to assume that he was in control, when in fact he's actually not. Goku knows more than what he's letting off against Cooler, and it's all starting to show. It's as it was with Moro, if you remember my lord. Even though Moro at the time was able to copy Maris' angel power, his body was simply not strong enough to endure Hell such no, strain it wasn't. and thus destroyed him from within. So by luring Cooler into a false sense of superiority, Goku ensured his own victory without Cooler even knowing. You just made the biggest mistake of your pathetic Hello, life, angel Cooler angel now? monkey. And how ironic will it be that I finally put an end to your miserable life than by using your own angel 
angel power against you, Cooler then went on to power up by shouting. And I honestly couldn't think of a better way for you to die than this. An eye for an eye, right, Goku? Trash. Oh. Platinum Cooler now shown once again firing a gigantic blast directly over at Goku as when Yoshido went on to chime in. Oh, there's just no way that this will be what does the Saiyan in. But if it does, hey, would that mean that this Cooler would be taking Goku's place in the tournament against us or what? Ugh, well, as much as I cannot stand the sight of him, Budo responds, I doubt that this was the end. Do you sense that? Look within the smoke. To which upon as everyone just did. Please build up. Budo, Budo coming around. Around a little See bit. Angel Goku is completely unscathed as you stop hating. To respond, I can do this all day with or without you trying to copy my power. So look closely and see it for yourself. So do you Goku still kill this nigga, man? Look on your face just now is starting to say it all. You're afraid, aren't you? No way. No, no, but he's still alive. You playing with this nigga? Come on, Goku. No, damn these Saiyans. No. Cooler then went on to shout, No! Damn you! Why? Why won't you die, Goku? To where in an act of desperation with Cooler being shown firing off multiple death beams at Goku, with Goku being shown deflecting each and every single one of them with one finger, was when Goku then went on to respond, I already tried telling you several times, Cooler, you could never wield a power that you have never earned on your own, and you never will. As Cooler then went on to shout, NON! Sense, monkey! You are the one who has never earned your right to live. You are the one who will pay for the sins of your Saiyan people, Goku. No matter what happens, I will stop it. Nothing until you are dead. Now I'll hit you a million times over before the day comes where I am defeated by the likes of you. With Goku then responding, it's sad. You truly are a monster at your core, despite me trying to look past that and look into your very soul fine then allow me to respond to which as goku was now shown channeling his energy within his fist at the same time while cooler was also shown powering up and from there making his way towards goku was when yoshida went on to then respond wait hold on is he is the saiyan mortal really looking to do that bastard down there in or is finally just bait there's no way he's going to right with takira responding his spirit call for it and so he absolutely will and he will do so without giving it a second thought now watch as cooler then went on to shout to the end of everything goku you and your kind will never have a place in our world we'll see cooler but just remember this was all because of you in which seconds before both cooler and goku were now shown having to collide was when the grand priest went on to respond ah yes how very smart and i'm afraid that this battle has now reached its final closing moments to which shockingly enough as it did it was only just then within that very moment as angel goku was now shown punching a hole directly through cooler's body was where it went as far as to shock everyone who was yes yeah, sure. even went on to respond i i can't believe it i i can't believe what i'm seeing right, right now as even Whis responds goodness he really just did amazing with akuma responding <laughs> so he really went through with it after all oh, time nigga. responding what dramatic nonsense are you kidding still hating me? all right yes yoshido went on to then shout i knew that saiyan was a killer at his very core now do it again hey don't just stop with one do it again but punch his ugly face off next saying now do it i want you to take a good hard look around you right yeah now. sure no kingdom no empire no armies what do you think he is gohan when he fucked up uh uh, Bojack, nigga, what you talking about? Just the weight of your deeds bearing down on you, Goku okay. continues. In the end, your lust for power was your greatest weakness. Ain't talking to that this, nigga too. Why you know? This is the price that you will now have to pay, and you will pay it with your life. And I tried searching for the goodness in your heart, Pause. but all Pause. Pause. Was nothing but darkness and he talking pain. to that. And I hope that somewhere deep down inside you, you can finally realize the weight of your mistakes. Goku continues, and maybe then you. 
you'll be able to find some semblance of peace in the afterlife, Cooler. You failed, and you left me with no other choice but to do what I needed to do in order to protect the world and the people that I love. I could never let you take any of that away from me. Mm. You could have been so much more than what your brother had wanted for you to be, and you could have been so much better, but instead, you oh, that chose like it's to his be father. just like him, so you brought this upon yourself. There's no need for you to try and continue to fight me, especially now, Goku says. So now accept your fate and go in peace. It's better to at least take that moment to reflect onto your actions before you finally fade into the darkness, with Cooler then responding, You want me to, to reflect? Reflect on what? That this was never supposed to happen like this? And so it can't be the end for me? How can it when I'm still able to stand against you? How could you already claim victory over me when I'm still still alive Goku cool, you're cool. Your victory is hollow and even if this battle is Damn, over, for almost dead nigga talking a lot unreal you and I it is far from over you, you monkey I refuse to let this be even <laughs> you with death so upon him man nigga still racist down with me if I must y yes to drag you and everyone else d down with me. All of you, Goku. I, I will take all of you. All of you will die. To which in an act of desperation, as soon as Cooler was now shown having to fly above the planet was when Yoshiro then went on to chime in. Now hold on there just a minute. He's not trying to run away now, is he? Because his energy is starting to suddenly rise to a much greater degree than how it was before. To which as this was now the case it was only just as cooler was now beginning to prepare for his final attack was when cooler then went on to shout i will give everything that i possibly can into making sure that this obliterates you all in one shot just like frieza did to your saiyan people and if this is the end for me saiyan then i promise that it's going to be the end for everyone else too i oh, will rip shit. everything away from you Saiyan, and just like your entire race, I will wipe everything away forever. To which, upon that very moment, as Cooler was now shown creating a supernova killer, supernova above the planet, supernova cooler. cooler. To continue. If I can't damn that move in Xenoverse, Saiyan, then I'll take everything that you love and hold near and dear to your hearts down with me. You may have fatally wounded me, Goku, but I'll make sure that this entire world burns as a result of what you did. This isn't over, and with my last dying breath, I'll ensure that your entire world and everyone on it is wiped away from history. You can't save them all, Goku. Your legacy, your friends, your family, all of it will be annihilated. But even then, by no means was Goku going to allow for this to stand, as Goku was now shown charging back up and creating the Dragon Cannon, with Beerus then chiming back in. After all, what an annoying pest this cooler is, Whis. I hope that Goku finally puts that bastard in his place and eradicates him for good. Which, speaking of Goku, what's he doing over there, Whis? I've never seen him try and use a technique like this before, so what is this? With Whis responding, Ah, yes, well, to put it to you, this way you are in for a very special treat indeed my lord now watch and you will see exactly how explosive goku can truly be within the heat of the moment oh shit Ten seconds later before goku we about to do having to fire off his dragon cannon was when goku then went on to dragon respond, cannon okay against the saiyans has destroyed you from within but for all the pain that you have caused and for every tear that you've shed i promise you cooler i'll make you answer for every bit of it you may your choice and now it's time for you to face the consequences of your actions and accept your fates once and for all cooler i will not fall without taking all of you with me goodbye goku oh dragon cannon which 
in a spectacular Damn. fashion before Goku's dragon cannon and cooler supernova was then shown colliding was when Yoshida went on to chime in. Whoa, look! He's using it again! That's the same attack that the Saiyan used to ring out Budo with during our little yep, tournament. Yep, yep. I forgot about this that, yep. This is as good as done. Anything that you'd like to add, Budo? With Budo responding, so quiet, Yoshido. I don't <laughs> need you to remind me of what took place before, so shut your mouth. With Cooler then shouting, No, no, this can't be how it all comes to me. Ain't that right, Budo? It just can't Nick, be. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I, I can't stop it. It's too strong. Stop, Goku. It was never meant to end like this. You Talk about stop, Goku. Shut this. the fuck up. I wanted to believe that there was some shred of goodness in you, cooler Goku. Why? Went on to shout, a shot at redemption and a chance to change. But you're just as sick and demented as your brother, so no more. You made me do this, cooler. You forced my hand, and now you made me do this, cooler. You forced my hand, and so now, now I want you to witness the ultimate power of the angelic path that I continue to walk down, cooler. This ends now. Talk that With shit, Goku. Goku was now shown letting out a ferocious roar as the dragon cannon was now shown having to complete. Give it to him, Goku. Goku. Let it all out. Takira went on to respond. I thought so. Well done, son Goku. This fight is now over. But that's impossible. You are just a Saiyan slave, a low-level monkey, and a pawn in our game. You were never supposed to live. But it was already too late because with the dragon cannon now being shown having to completely envelop platinum cool and it's your fault he lived to shout you and your tribe oh well never mind that story that story ain't canon the coolest story ain't canon damn how could you how could you have been so careless to let these monkeys live to become this strong oh curse you frieza how could you have allowed for this to happen i am the strongest life form in the Alright, alright, with the voice acting, I see you. Now, finally, it because with Angel Goku now being shown having to stare out into the distance following Cooler's initial destruction was when the Grand Priest went on to chime in. Well, how truly magnificent and a truly interesting outcome, to say the least. In the end, it was Cooler's unwavering malice towards wanting to destroy everything in sight that had determined his fate in this battle, the Grand Priest continues. Goku's actions were merely the response to an unmistakable declaration of war, as it is not within Goku's nature to be the arbiter of destruction but was essentially left with no other choice cooler's intent was clear and his heart shrouded in darkness and goku's actions however dire was yes, a necessity for everyone's survival as akuma then went on to respond very impressive and it wasn't even close was this what you had foreseen taking place between them in battle takira with takira then responding it was and it was done swiftly with no hesitation in the saiyan's heart as it should be shouldn't be who attempted to persuade Cooler into changing his ways only to be met with rebellion in the end. So that Cooler had this coming with Beerus responding, Good, very, very good. Now that's the Goku that I love to see. Serves that rodent good for attempting to alter the balance of the cosmos without any sort of pushback with Whis then responding, And I couldn't be any prouder of seeing how far Goku has come in doing what he needed to do without having anything stand in the way of stopping him. Well played, with the Grand Priest then responding, Indeed, and what's even more interesting is that the serum that Cooler had claimed to have taken, although potent, was never really meant to handle the immense stress that Cooler was shown having to put his body through. Ultimately negating the effects of the serum, the more he was shown putting his body through more and more stress. Mm. And while the Damn. serum promised unparalleled strength, which it did, it did not, however, guarantee stability or longevity in the end, the Grand Priest continues. And since Cooler and his
his brother were in such a rush to come and destroy everyone, they did not appear to double down in making sure that this itself did not backfire, to which as Goku was now shown turning his head, like was they, they went on to respond, and now that just leaves us with one more left. The source of this situation and the one who started all of this, so I've got to go and hurry. To which all the while, in the meantime, as soon as Black Frieza was now being shown... Nah, to nah, don't worry about Vegeta, he got this. Vegeta was when Budo, worry about the top five in. niggas, huh? Good. So now the quicker this goes, the better it is, because this only now just leaves one of them remaining, and it'll only be a matter of time before we can finally get back to handling our business and finish what Goku had already started. And I've seen all that I needed to see here today, with the Grand Priest cutting in. Well, about that, actually. Going back into resuming where we left off isn't going to be as simple as any of you might assume for it to be. Oh. We have ran into a slight problem prior to coming here that will need to be addressed soon. And by that, I mean as in addressing the issue at hand with Goku. But we will wait and see what will happen here first, as Black Frieza then went on to respond, Damn that insolent Saiyan! Cooler, you fool! How could you have allowed for this to happen? Oh, I should have known better. I should have known better than to trust my own brother in getting the job done. Nigga. And now look, useless. It always comes down to me, doesn't it? Fine. I'll relish in ending these Saiyans myself. As Vegeta then went on to point on down by then responding, Well, 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 would you look at that, you fool? And now you are all yeah, alone. Yeah, buddy, you're so cook, buddy. You're cook. Frieza. How does it feel to watch your own yeah. parish and knowing that you'll be sharing the same fate next? There's no escape from what's about to take place here, and you are all alone with no one left to save you, and that's just the way I want it to stay. All this only to fall once again. It's poetic, really. The poetic last justice of the for real. Cold blooded tyrants meet his end at the hands of the very race that he sought out to extinguish how ironic your brother failed and so will you the saiyans are a force that you'll never overcome no matter how many of us you try to destroy and if you think that you are going to rule the day and destroy me then you have another thing coming whether you have more power stashed away or not frieza you are all talk your shit vegeta no talk your shit help you and no one to depend on that will save you from within the heat of our upcoming battle and you know it so just you wait as angel goku then went on to teleport behind vegeta by then responding cooler's gone vegeta and in case anything were to happen if you want to carry on and put an end to frieza's terror then it's best if we go at him together right now before we burn out and exhaust whatever power that we may have left oh, no, shit. you will remain where you are kakarot this here is my battle to wage and my story to to finish. Frieza's debt is with me and I intend to settle the score alone. And whether I slaughter him or die within the process, I need to know that I faced him with everything I've got while at the absolute peak of my power and nothing less. With Angel Goku responding, but Vegeta, what if he tries to pull a fast one on us like he tried doing many times before? You'll need an extra pair of eyes in case he has a few more tricks up his sleeve that we aren't fully aware of. He ain't worried I can't about just that. Let you go and do this alone, Vegeta. With Vegeta then responding, but you will, yeah. and that's final. Do you understand? And besides, I'm a lot stronger than Frieza, anyways. Every time I close my eyes, all I could ever see looking back at me from the other side is him laughing and mocking our race. I need this closure, and I will not have to ask for it again. That monster and I have a date with destiny, and so I. I will do this alone, Kakarot. Yes, sir. Responding, well, all right, Vegeta, but whatever happens, just make sure that you keep your eyes on him at all times. So be careful with Vegeta then responding. Oh, please don't fancy me with your softness, Kakarot. And I don't intend to let this opportunity pass me by. There's a weight that I've been meaning to lift ever since the day I first met Frieza. Yes, and sir. So this is going to be the day where I'm finally going to make him answer for everything. 
So then, Frieza, it looks like it's come down to just me and you, with Frieza then responding, settle the score, you say? Well, the only score that I recall settling was the one where I dismissed your father to an early grave. Oh. Now, do you wish to suffer a similar fate as he once did? Because I can assure you that whether you do or you don't, you will. This so-called destroyer form of yours is nothing more than a crutch because once you lose it, then you are dead. I've taken many things from you, Vegeta. Your home, your family, your people, your destiny, your future, your pride. And so now are you ready to give your life on over to me too? Because that will be the only thing that's missing and I will gladly go and take it. With Vegeta then responding, sure. yes, that's the spirit. You know what's funny? These niggas, you know what's funny? Uh, if you think about it, this Piccolo and Gohan down there is still knocked out somewhere in the middle of this field. <laughs> just, they, just, they just knocked the fuck, missing all the action. I think, I think Gohan probably, I think, oh wait, it was a scene. I think Gohan is up, but nigga, <laughs> that nigga, them niggas are fucked. It's, it's finally time, Frieza. Every scar I bear and every missing all memory the of pain, they have all led up to this very moment between us and I couldn't be any more excited for what's about to happen here and I am going to savor every second of your destruction because you once took everything away from me but today today will be the day where I will take everything away from you your pride your power your life and your soul as it was only right then and there, oh, during shit. that moment, where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the top five strongest warriors in the multiverse semi finale manga chapter number semi finale oh shit. then comes to a close. Now, this is it the final chapter in the story of the top five strongest warriors in the multiverse is now finally at hand. And Cooler. so, you might want to listen Cook. up very closely as to what I'm about to say, especially now moving forward What's in up? the foreseeable future. Because, number one, the next chapter will in fact be the last chapter of this story, but by no means will this be the conclusion of the entirety of what you guys are about are to see transpire because I have gone on record multiple times to confirm that yes, there will be a sequel to this story in the foreseeable future, but that sequel story is not going to be dropping anytime soon until the next big project is out of the way, to which I can't really go into any more detail in explaining anything the music more outside out. this is of what weird, you guys though. may already know, in which needless to say, the upcoming manga chapter is going to essentially answer all of your raging questions that you guys have had for quite some time, including even going as far as to sprinkle some seeds to the upcoming sequel, which I don't want to give away necessarily yet. However, you guys can go on ahead and be the first to check out the final chapter to this story, as well as the upcoming projects that I have. All right, now that was a good episode, right? That was a good ass chapter, man. Um, Cooler finally kicked the bucket, man. Finally got that nigga up out of there. Um, uh, Frieza, you're next, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You're cook, buddy. That nigga Ultra Ego, hey, that nigga Vegeta about to put the paws on you real quick, man. Um, crazy chat. Shout out to Unrunning Gaming for this story, man. Uh, I'm pretty... Look, look. I just appreciate Unrunning Gaming for this fucking... All this work he put in for this, man. Like, I really do appreciate that, man. And, uh, shit. If you like my reaction, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.